Okay, I didn't really feel like taping every single thing as I was working on this, but so I tacked this part on that I showed you that I cut out. There's a gap here, so I filled it with a little chunk. Um, put the legs on, made them five and a half inches on the bottom from here. Um, so I got four legs. The front one are shorter here because they go underneath this wheel. Um, there's the door. Done nicely. I had to add little extenders. I used the same stuff I used for the for the legs, the tu the square tubing, and I matched up the curve here to the. I actually put it on top of here and underneath just um, used the. Put it like this, and I used the marker and just traced it underneath so the curve was correct. And so I cut that out, so that matched this curve perfectly, and I got a nice flat surface for the hinge. Did the same thing here. Welded that on. Um, I had to cut off the edges of the hinge because they actually had two more screw holes right there. And I'm not going to be using those because it sticks out way too far. So I'm actually going to probably make a couple of holes here and put two more screws. But I might not do that. It seems pretty sturdy enough like this. Uh, what else? The legs. Okay, the chimney here. I welded that together. I don't know if I showed it in the last video. And then I stuck it here. I actually used the level to make sure that it's correct, uh, uh, plumb or whatever it's called, this way and then this way. And it turned out that it's a little bit down over here because my 45 degree cut was a little bit off. Since I don't have the right tools for it, I used a framing square and kind of winged it and it turned out alright. So it's going down a little bit, but it's not that, deep, not that bad. Uh, overall, this is, um, I think that, don't laugh at me if I'm not using the wrong term. Um, so, okay, on the inside, I used this sheet of metal, or this, this cutout that I cut out from here, and I actually bent it a little bit, and I, I welded it on the edges here, and on the bottom, it's touching the bottom here, the wall. Over here I got space, so this is covering the chimney. The reason I did this is because when the fire burns, I don't want all the heat to escape right into the thing. I want it to heat up the the bottom of the rock pan, and then, then the smoke can come out through here and out the chimney. So that will kind of prevent the heat from going out right away. It will have to heat up first heat this thing up first and then leave after it's done. Um, in here I had to adjust this part a, little, a couple of times. I actually cut it in half. This right here was solid but I cut it in the middle down here to adjust the, the size of this thing so the door closes correctly. So I cut out a small chunk here, probably a quarter inch and welded it together so it sucked this in because I'm going to be putting this uh, fireproof seal around it so when you close it no s uh, smoke will escape what else? I think that's it anyway it's ready to uh, I'm gonna put a latch on it got to get all the welds finished up it's all tacked on uh, I might go to Walmart and see if I can get me a, a round casserole dish and I might sandwich it in here so I have a little window so I can see the fire. Oh yeah, there's a rock pan that's going over here like that. Anyway, it's going to be straight but it's basically going to hold the rocks. I had to weld the 
holes. Uh, I just used pieces of metal I had and just welded the hole shut. That's it for today. I'm really tired. So I'm going to work on this next week sometime. It's going to look nice when I paint it all black. Looking forward to it. Alright, see you next video.